finding a co-founder techie or non-techie um, is quite a journey. It's because it, it, there is so many things at play and your sort of technical qualifications, irrespective if you are um, a technical person or not, is one big element of it. But there are so many other ones at play and um, it's um, the sort of the idea is that you need a technical co-founder, yes, but you're, you, you, it can be two of you, it can be three of you. It's not limited just to two people, so it's quite good to keep that in mind. And equally, if your idea is very good, you could also find uh, technical help. You just have to sort of, like with everything in life, you have to search and go out there and understand how you can get good quality technical help. So I think when you when you kind of at a drawing board and you're thinking about new idea and you're thinking about finding a co-founder, I wouldn't limit your thinking just to sort of, oh, gosh, I need this technical person. Um, it has to be much, much broader and you have to take into account can you work with that person? Trust, I think, is one of the biggest drivers of, of any relationship. And um, you can kind of stress test trust <laughs> only through time. And it's like, you know, with any undertaking, any, any major undertaking, it's never a straight line. And there are no shortcuts like everyone wants because everyone's story is so unique and you think oh i will go and do that it's just never like that there is no formulas no shortcuts so um that's a little bit what i wanted to say to say to set the stage and the next bit which i wanted to talk about is um, a little bit more around practicalities because many people kind of think okay well if you are at, at a very far right hand side and you're still searching for founder, um, if you have a team in place and you are out fundraising, of course, your chances of success triple, but equally you could still be finding that person within sort of your first two stages. It gets much, much harder later on when you when you go kind of late seed stage. So um, I just wanted to say that even if you are ready to start something, don't be afraid that you are a single founder, you, you don't know something. It's like you have to be, once again, quite open-minded. So that's all what I wanted to say to kind of set the stage. You know, Oksana, this really reminds me of um, the conversation I was having for this channel with Robin Exton. I don't know if you guys know her, she's fabulous. She is the founder of Her, which is the queer women's um, dating app. And she's a Y Combinator alumna and she has a branding background. And she literally was just like, I'm just gonna start it and nobody's stopping me. And it was kind of almost through, you know, sheer bloody mindedness and effort that she's created this company, which now, uh, you know, spans the globe. 